Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss more about Docker. So one of the previous video that I publish, we discuss about some of the basic commands in Docker. But today we will go some of the deep learning curves of Docker. So actually, what are the commands we will use and uh, how we will use that that kind of things. So here I'm in my terminal right now. If I am just going to my docker ps minus a, I can see what are the containers that are running right now. So, right now everything exited, so I didn't have anything run, uh, running right now. So, what are the basic commands that we need? So, removing all unused objects, that is the one command that we are going to use it's docker system proven so if I, I am running that system proven this will remove all stop containers all networks not used by this one container or dangling images or uh, dangling build cache so everything will remove so right now I am just giving now because I need to start I need to use all of these containers so this way we can remove all unused objects at a time and there is another version for this one docker system pro volume Okay, I made a switch. Unknown flag volume. Okay, so if I type this one, Docker's phone help, I can see what are the commands that I can use. Okay. So volumes, spoon volumes, false do not prompt for con confirmation. So uh, if I run with the F, it will not ask for this one. So it's very useful. Remove all unused images, not just dangling ones. So it, it will remove all the images also. So that's where Docker system prune will work. We are going to to the nest command. So it's actually a Docker container minus R. So actually, I need to mention which which container I need to remove. After that only I can do that so basically what I am going to do is I need to keep some of this one but I don't need most of them so basically what I am going to do is I need to remove Kafka so Oh, I will do that. So Docker, Docker container, RM, Docker container, RM and the ID of my container. Okay. I have two dockets. Okay, right now it's removed. So I remove one of my container. If I am going to the container list, I can see that. So one container already removed from here. So the other one that I need is
one of the main commands that uh, it's a very useful command so I'm just pasting here this is a docker container ls so here what I am doing is I'm keeping a filter so it's only list what are the docker containers that I accepted so also status is created so it's list everything so if I just remove status is created and if I am just remove exited there is nothing so this way also we can filter our docker container ls command another one is docker system prone command itself and here we can mention filter so that's also a good idea during the development so I'm just mentioning like filter status created so I need to that mention here instead of filter create paste okay so it's pressure here and I'm going to run this one filter status created so let's see whether it's going to work so I'm just invalid filter status okay don't need to have status should be created that's the one but here we need to give that's inside our quotes invalid filter status okay so So there is no creator status that's why it's happened so maybe I will do one thing I will start one one of the docker start container and we will try to remove that okay so prone status creator yes where is status okay so there is no status with status creator that's why it's not uh, removing everything so here if I'm just going here yeah this this one also exited 30 seconds ago so still in exit status so that's another command I mean docker container prone with filter so stop and remove all the containers so that's very useful one whenever we are starting a system from sleep or something most of the time the containers will also shut down so you need to restart but we can fix that uh, internally i mean uh, if we are during the creation of the container we can mention something 
that will automatically restart whenever docker is restarting our system so that's way also we can do and another way of doing uh, another command that very useful is docker store container stroke but we need to mention container name here but instead of that you can mention a docker docker container ls minus aq so this way also you can do that so if I am going my yes minus C we can see everything exit maybe I can try with one so I am just starting one of my MongoDB container start okay it's it's working fine right now we can see that MongoDB container is up so I know we are going to run that container to stop everything so I know I, I'm again going to the PS minus A oh something is better happen my side okay okay so right now MongoDB also exit so this way we can do this also docker container remove also the same command docker container ls minus aq so this way also we can do but right now I am not going to try that because I need to keep all the docker candidates right now so that's all about some of the very useful docker commands there is uh, another thing so I need to list all the docker images so how will I do that images ls okay there is something wrong here ps minus a i have everything docker image okay i didn't have image yeah. okay so these are the images i have so probably i will remove some of them because i don't need anything right now how i will do that so instead of container if i am removing images i need to use docker image and the one rm and the id of my id of my container so actually what i am going to do is i need to remove all the kafka images i'm pasting here there is another kafka here pasting here any other Kafka one two and I can remove zookeeper also I don't need zookeeper zoo, zoo anymore okay so I know we are done two eight right ending in two eight three so we have three <coughs> just deleted everything okay here I got some messages I can't remove some of the container images because it's used by a container that's stop but uh, but still it's exist so I can I can remove only container that's not exist I can remove only images that uh, container not exist so that's one of the command
another one is docker image prune command so in my previous command we use docker system prune but in this command we are going to use docker image prune so only images will remove so it's all re remove only the dangling images that are not using so if i am running this one if i am just it will remove everything that's not using in containers so what i am going to do is to show that one i need to go to one of these one and i need to remove one of the exeter contain container so if i am going here i need to remove this one docker docker container rm so this one 6c it's a zookeeper and i need to remove some of the other container also so i am just pasting pasting that here this one also kafka i don't need that too okay so it's removed three containers so i know i have only tomcat elastic search elastic search gibana logstash and elastic search and i have Yeah, I have MongoDB and also Tomcat. Uh, other one, two, three, three commands for three containers for Elasticsearch. So we are fine right now. But if I am going to the Docker images ls, I can see so many images. So right now I need to prune some of the images, not some of the images, all the images that not use so this will remove all dangling images so i am just mentioning i so if i am just you can see kafka i know maybe in the next reset i can remove this one so right now the kafka one already there I don't know why it's still there even if I use image pro so but this this one is a good way of removing all dangling images so for removing this one we need to add additional tag so it's remove all the unused containers and un unused images so here it's deleted so many images and we can see ps minus a there is no issues here and uh, images unless I have Kibana, MongoDB, and uh, Elasticsearch only, Tomcat also. So this way also it's false, just adding a minus A on the end. Also, image prune, we can use filter like we used earlier. And another command, I need to know the Docker volume. Volume ls. So I can see this much volume, but some of these volumes are not using anymore. So I need to remove that one also. How I will do that? Docker volume prune minus a. That's the command. Docker volume prune minus a. Okay, there is no minus a in this case. So it will remove all the not used by at least one container. So it's remove everything. So I actually I reclaim a space of 
201 MP. So this also a very good idea. So now we are removing something. We, we don't need to keep that space, that boogie. So Docker network ls will list all the networks. So I have a Docker Kafka default one and a ELK I have one and a one bridge one and a one was probably done there. So here what I'm going to do is need to use the docker network pwn command it also delete whatever network that I am not using so it's delete elk default and kafka docker default so right now if I am listing some of them are available right now some of them are deleted so this way also we can do everything filters also we can use in this condition also like prune filter prune when say filter this way also we can use it will list it will remove everything until tolerance so that's where we can use so many docker commands so it's very, very useful docker commands to save some space to reclaim some space so that's all for this video maybe i will come with some other videos in next